In the United States, we're bombarded with cop dramas every night. Here's an inside look at the plight of some of the cliched characters on those shows. These are their confidential testimonies. How are they doing? Good. Apologizing and doing the music exercise helps tremendously. Their trust in me has been restored. Excellent. Cop dramas are on the rise again. Just look at Blue Bloods, Prime Suspect, and the new characters on Law and Order SVU. The franchise is never going away, is it? Nope. Never underestimate the power of the wolf. Now, even though these characters are whiny, self-absorbed, needy, what? Too harsh? Okay. Even though they're not perfect, they play a major role in cop dramas. We must continue to elevate them to new heights. 2012 is right around the corner. And you do know what that means, don't you? The end of the world? No. 2012 means being picked up by a major network. Ah, that's right. So get them ready, Christine. Our future depends on it. 10-4. Oh, and Christine. Yes? Never do this to me when other people are watching. Okay. Despite Eugene's inaccurate assessment of my fabric choices and outlook on life, I believe the phrase was polyester Pollyanna. Yeah, not only do I have exceptional, expensive taste in high-end, well-made clothing, I am a phenomenal, analytical, slightly opinionated district attorney, and I'm okay with that. Well, hear, hear, sister. Say it loud. I'm a DA and I'm proud! Word! Oh, give me a break. Rebecca, wow. Thank you for opening up to the group like that. It sounds like you've really come to terms with your character. Is it accurate to say that you've accepted who you are? Absolutely, Christine. In fact, I took a long, hard look at myself in the mirror today. And I liked what I saw. Oh, please. <laughs> Rebecca, that's fantastic. In fact, your breakthrough... <laughs> I had a breakthrough. ...ties in perfectly with the next step that we are all going to embrace today. Acceptance. Have you truly accepted who you are as characters in the realm of cop shows? Well, for me... It's like I'm a new person. I used to be self-conscious about being a victim. But you know what? I cry. A lot. It's who I am. And you know, there wouldn't be cop dramas without me. Damn it! Danny, Eugene, will you please share with the group where you are in terms of accepting your identity as characters on cop shows? Well, the musical exercise we did last month helped me realize that. I put the cop. 
and cough drop. Yo, my name is Danny. Progress, we are making progress. Eugene, please share with us. <laughs> Believe it or not, you know, I love myself. Okay, I don't shop at Saks Fifth Avenue, and I don't honor your, um, your restraining Stay orders. Yours. Yeah, and okay, I don't wear my ankle bracelets, but hey, listen, you know what? I am a bad guy, and and I matter. That even though you are all individually different, you need each other to keep these engines we call cop shows, cop dramas, cop procedurals, whatever, running smoothly. Whoa! I need you. I've never thought about this before. And I need you. I can do this. I'm in a safe place. <gasps> I need you. Huh? Don't push it. I, I need you. I need you, brother. I do. <laughs> I, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>